Hello there, world. Johnny here. Welcome to Bloons TD6. Today we're going to do the high finance map on chimps. First off, we're going to take Sada, place her right here, and then we'll start. This map definitely looks intimidating because of its size and all these buildings and everything, but it's not so bad once you know what to do. So we'll keep going. Yeah, this should be fine here. In round eight, we're gonna take a sniper, place it right above Sada here, and set it to strong. Yeah, this should be fine. Sniper should just barely be able to filter them out. Yeah, cool. Beginning rounds might look a little scary. Round 10, we're going to take a druid, place it right at this corner here. There we go. Round 50, 15 is uh, especially intimidating. Cool. Alright, round 11, we'll go to the sniper and give it full metal jacket. Keep it going. Round 13, we'll go to the druid, give it Thorn Swarm. All right. All right, round 15, here we go. We're going to start, and we're going to slow it down just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to get a whole bunch of them rushing in. So when the yellow gets up ahead of the green is when we do leaping swords. There we go. That'll get rid of a lot of the uh, slightly faster ones. Cool. Once that part's over, it shouldn't be so bad afterwards. On 16, Heart of Oak for the Druid. On 18, Druid of the Jungle, then set it to first. And that'll help deal with a lot of the uh, balloons that spawn in. Making your life a lot easier. And at the end of 19, hard thorns. Cool. On, uh, at the end of round 22, we'll go to the sniper. Give it fast firing, and even faster firing. Here we go, Sato will get the uh, camo there, don't worry. Excellent, at the end of round 26, we'll click this area here and build it. Boom. There we go. Round 28, we'll take a spike factory, place it right next to Sada here. There we go. now we're going to prepare for round 40. On round 30, we'll go to the spike factory and give it long reach, smart spikes, and then we'll set it to close. And now it'll all pile up here. And that covers both tracks, so you don't really have to worry too much. Very good. Oh, 
Okay. At the end of 32, we'll go to the spike factory. Give it bigger stacks and white hot spikes. Here we go. Alright, at the end of round 35, we'll go to the spike factory, give it long life spikes. Cool. That'll give us a whole lot of defense. That was a washing machine. Alright, around 38. Deadly spikes for the spike factory. Cool. Okay, at the end of 39, we'll go to the Druid, give it Heart of Thunder. Excellent. Now that round 40 is over, we'll go to the Village. And we'll place it right about here. It's a little tricky, but it'll fit. There we go. Continue. Even though it's called High Finance, we're going to try to save as much money as possible. So now we'll go to the village in the middle of 41. We have Monkey Business and Monkey Commerce, along with a bigger radius. Cool. Next up is Jungle Drums on 42. At the end of 43, we'll take a wizard, place it right up here, give it guided magic, arcane blast, intense magic, and then monkey sense on 44. Keep it going. On 45, shimmer. Looking good so far. Cool. And in round 47, Necromancer on Popped Army. Now that we have a lot of uh, offensive power going here. On uh, round 49, we'll go to the druid. Jungle's bounty. There we go. Now that'll create two layers of uh, spikes and grab two types of balloons. Which is really cool. That was a washing machine again. Excellent. Next we have to save up for is um, for round 63. So that's usually a problem area for most people.
Okay. Not much to worry about here, we're on 59. The necromancer is great against those camel leads there. Okay, at the end of round 60, we'll take another sniper. Place it next to the spike factory here. We have a fast firing, even faster firing. Semi-automatic, full auto rifle. Night vision goggles and shrapnel shot. Excellent. Then we'll continue. Cool. And at the end of round 61, Elite Defender. Saving the 15% actually helps out quite a bit. Alright, round 63. Nothing to worry about. Excellent. Not to sound full of myself, but I'm surprised this map right here isn't on the uh, intermediate list. Phew. Because especially right here, it's really, really long. The short part right here might, makes it a little more dangerous, but this right here, it's a good uh, money maker. Yeah. Very good. And the last tower we're going to place on round 67 is a glue gunner right about here in between the wizard and the sniper. We're going to give it stickier glue, stronger glue, Moab glue, relentless glue, bigger globs, and glue splatter. And that's going to help us for way later. going. <laughs> They're not even really getting a chance to spawn in. Well, the little ones aren't. Sorry about that. Doing good so far? Hmm. Oh, Necromancer ran out of juice. That's alright. Take a break. Round 75 is usually a problem on most maps, but since it's on the long street here, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, look at that. It's crazy.
All right, 76, the ceramic rush. No need to do anything. Hmm. Seventy-eight. We're gonna definitely use uh, sword charge, like most of the maps, just to make things easier. All right, seventy-eight. Get ready for the ceramic rush. Sword charge. BFBs are going to spawn in up here. We don't really need to do anything with those. Where are you? They're there. Hmm. Now that we're recharged again, we'll wait for the camo ceramics to charge in. And sword charge. Cool. 79 is nice and relaxed. Armored, uh, armored ones. The fortified ones have a little bit of a better chance, but not really. Round 80. Don't really need to do anything about it. Look at that, the glue really slows it down. Ouch. <laughs> Very sad. Poor the ZMG. Cool, cool. One of my favorite abilities is coming up. Hopefully it'll be your favorite ability too. Okay. Cool. Had the glue even splattered up here, whoops. Sweet. Alright. All right, at the end of round 81, Spirit of the Forest. And now it'll start covering the map and spikes and doing a whole bunch of damage. Ah, yeah. I'm going to be very sad when they eventually nerf this ability here. <laughs> so awesome. now in between the uh, the minigunner here and the spirit of the forest it just destroys everything well almost everything all right next up is the perma spike we don't have too much farther to go oh yeah round 85 wash machine again Sorry, neighbors using the uh, washing machine. Sometimes it beeps when it's ready, and it keeps recycling it over and over again. Don't worry about it. Cool. Nasty part is, I think with the uh, larger ones, like the BFBs, I think they get hit by these side ones here, too, that do a little bit extra damage. So that's really cool. I mean, look at the druid's damage. Just goes up and up and up like crazy.
boom. Then they get glued. Alright, round 90 is coming up. Normally I'd like to have Parma Spike before round 90, but in this particular case, it ain't going to be so bad. Oof. We got so much stuff piled in front of it that we don't got to worry. Awesome. Alright, so on round 91, Parma Spike. There we go. Cool. What's really nasty is seeing the perma spikes uh, piled up uh, uh, close to the druid here. So all the spike damage right here is just so nasty. Especially with Sada nearby. And glue. Since Sada does bonus damage to uh, immobilized or stun targets and the like. ability we're going to be saving up for is Prince of Darkness. Whew. 95. Here come those DDTs. Yeah, not much to them, were they? <laughs> cool. Okay, round 96. When all the BFBs are done, it's just the OMGs. Leaping Swords and Sword Charge. Just to be on the safe side. We want to conserve the uh, Perma Spikes as much as possible. And now, Prince of Darkness. Oh yeah. Now we're on round 97. We can use Leaping Swords and Sword Charge as we can to destroy them as early as possible. Leaping Swords again. And we can save a Sword Charge. Leaping swords and sword charge as soon as you can. Ooh. Wow. That's nasty. Okay. At the end of round 98, we'll go to our first sniper here. Give it large caliber, deadly precision, and may Moab. Excellent. Then we'll go to our village and give it primary training. Just a little extra for our blue gunner here. Alright, then primary mentoring. Here we go, round 100. Leaping swords. Sword charge. And the rest should be good. It'll pop around here. Yep, now it's stuck. Leaping swords, and you did it. Awesome. With a huge pile remaining. Alright, you did it. Awesome. This is Johnny R. signing off for the night. Have a good night, everyone.